When Louis was born, I thought that I was going to have to sit there and watch my newborn son die on that table. And now I turn around and I look at him today and I see <laughs> I just see the way he smiles at me. And I can't give him an environment where he can be at his full potential. I fully accept Louis for what he is. But that doesn't mean that it doesn't break my heart <laughs> to know that I can never ever give him what he needs. Hi ABC, we're the Vitali family. I'm Dad. I'm Mom. This is Kane. And this is Louis Jr. Welcome to our home in Athens, Vermont. Lou and Sarah met and fell in love eight years ago. Now after they got married, they bought a fixer-upper and started a family. And they have two incredible kids, Kane who's three, and then little Louie Jr., who's two years old. Couldn't be more special. <laughs> he, is, he is one in five million medically. Yes, he is, he is. When he was born, the doctors told us that he would most likely not live, that he had a nervous system disorder of some kind that can't be explained, and he probably wouldn't make it. Little Louie suffers from a lot of complex medical issues. He was born with skeletal abnormalities. He has to eat through a feeding tube and breathe through a trach in his throat. And he also has to deal with arthrogryposis. It's a rare disorder that limits the mobility of his arms and his legs. The doctors always tell us he's never gonna walk, but they told us he was never gonna breathe. They told us he was never gonna live. They told us a lot of things that, thank God, were not the case, so. Don't worry, honey, you can walk if you want to. Louis has special needs, but this little guy is definitely full of life, man, um, energy and personality. Even though he will never talk, he understands and communicates with his eyes, and he's learning sign language. He also expresses himself through painting and has inspired Sarah to take action in the community. Last year, Sarah founded Angel Boy Art. Angel Boy Art started as a therapy exercise that we do with Louis to help him to stretch and motivate him to want to stretch. My dream for Angel Boy Art would be to have a special place where I could bring these special needs kids together and show the world how art is just a, a universal language that even somebody that can't communicate in any other way can communicate with art. So right now, Louis needs 24-hour medical care in a safe, happy, and sterile environment. But here's the thing. The home that the family lives in is a death trap. There's no proper insulation to keep Louis from getting an infection. The house is cramped and narrow, so it's definitely not wheelchair accessible. And get this, there's no concrete foundation. So the family lives in constant fear that one day their house is gonna collapse on them. There's just not the safety that we need to have for Louis to live a, a normal, healthy life. When Louis was born, I thought that I was gonna have to sit there and watch my newborn son die on that table. And now I turn around and I look at him today and I see <laughs> I just see the way he smiles at me. And I can't give him an environment where he can be at his full potential. I fully accept Louis for what he is. But that doesn't mean that it doesn't break my heart <laughs> to know that I can never ever give him what he needs. Please, ABC, please, from the bottom of my heart, as a mother that cannot do for her children what they deserve, please, give our son a chance at a normal life that he is not gonna have. <laughs> so, you guys can see how special this family is, right? And right now, where they're living, there's no way that little Louis Jr. can reach his full potential. But we can change that. Absolutely. So what do you say, guys? Can we do this? Yes. <laughs> All right, we'll bring it in, people. Let's make it happen. Are you with me? Yes. yes. Well, then let's do it.
When you look at the way that Lou and Sarah love their children and the focus that they have on little Louie Jr., it's inspiring. Our focus this week is to build a home that's safe so they can continue to do what they do. When we got out of the limo, Lou and I had to take a few moments just to hold each other and just to feel so good that now everything's gonna change and everything's gonna be easier. A week ago, you guys were living in a house that the health of your kids and the safety of your kids was really kept you up at night. Very scary, very Well, the good scary. news is we pulled that thing down. And what's behind <laughs> this bus is something I think is actually gonna give your family a place where they can actually grow into their full potential. You guys ready to see what's behind this bus? Yeah. I am ready. Are you ready? I am ready. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Well, I am then ready. you know what to say. Say it with me. Bus driver, move that bus! See Uncle Lee? That bus pulled out of the way, I saw the coolest thing I think I've ever seen. We were always worried that Louis was gonna be held back by our old house. You know, it was there's not enough room for him to spread his wings. Now in this new house, he can fly wherever he wants and nobody's getting in his way. If you guys like it, you gotta give some love to Kevin and the guys from the Bakunin group. Oh yeah, they did an amazing job. People of Vermont rock. There was people that worked 24 hours a day, which were volunteers. And people just wanted to get on the site and help whatever way they could. It was incredible. So I will never forget this experience. Um, as long as I live, and everybody else who's with us won't either. The Tally family, go check out your new house. All right. Oh, man. Oh, no way. <laughs> Come in here. Oh my god. Oh, look at our picture. Oh my god. Look, they put it up there the one <gasps> Honey. Honey, look at this. Oh my god. Suction in the, in the wall. Walls. Oh, in the wall. Mama, don't cry. Oh, it's okay, honey. Mama's happy. I cried when I saw the suction because I knew how much easier it was going to make our life. The setup in the old house in the living room, we had one very small patch of rug, and that was the only space that was safe for Louis. To know that we can walk around our house freely without having to carry equipment with us, he is free. That house has made him free and given him his independence.